guys, welcome back to my channel. I am unboxing two figures today and they are from one of my favorite, I believe it's called Danquas, um, and it is Link Click. <laughs> if you have not seen Link Click, I highly, highly recommend you guys go check it out. It, this series has a little bit of everything. It's got mystery, thriller, just comedy, just, oh my god it is so it's got angst it's it's so good i just can't describe it for you in a way i, I can't i just i can't describe how i feel about it it is so good i highly 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 recommend it it is one of my favorite don Quas. so good so so good so i'm so excited to be unboxing these guys these are my first and i think the first figures that have ever come out of these this makes it even more exciting i i bought this from a website that i have never bought figures from or any anime merch from or Dunkwa merch from uh i don't really remember the name of it but i will go back and put the name somewhere on the screen so if you're interested in getting them uh, hopefully they'll st they're still available, but if you're interested in getting them, you can through that website. At the time I ordered these, these weren't available to pre-order or order from sites that I usually buy from, like AmiAmi or, you know, those like known websites to buy figures from or anime merch, anime merch from. Um, but I think recently they opened up in like certain websites like that. I didn't I didn't think they were going to so that's why I ended up taking the risk and ordering from a site that I've never ordered from uh, but yeah so I guess, I guess they are starting to uh, go in stock in other places the only reason why I didn't wait to see if they would end up being in stock on websites I usually purchase from is because I notice when it comes to Donkwa's at least for link click and heaven officials blessing a lot of the merch is not available in like japanese figure websites like ami ami even though they have their own dub japanese dub right now certain merch just isn't available there so that's kind of why i was like all right i'll order it from this unknown website but i've heard good things about them so i decided to take take a risk anyways without further ado let's go ahead and unbox these please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the um comment section below we have um i'm so sorry if i butcher the names but in english it's lucas and in um mandarin it's Lu Guang, and then we have in english it's charles or in mandarin it's Chung Shaoxi, I want to say. Um, and he is actually my favorite between the two. I absolutely adore him. So we are naturally going to save him for last. Um, gotta save the best for last. Okay. This figure is by the company B Box, which I've never heard from or heard of. But that's probably only because I typically only order anime <laughs> figures. I should have shown you guys the box. Uh, this is the back of the box for Lu Guang. I love this pose. I think he's so good looking here. The image is basically what the figure looks like. <laughs> and then inside there's a little clock and it says link click. Very simple box, but I love this image. Very crisp looking image and it looks so good. I, I love, oh my God. This show has a, some really good animation or like art styles. The, the openings are literally top tier. Okay, now we gotta open this godforsaken blister box. Okay. Ooh, he's wrapped pretty nicely. Okay, so he comes connected to his base already, but you can take him out of it. Ooh, okay, let me show you the base first. This actually, it's plastic, but it, it doesn't feel like any of the other bases, plastic bases that I own. I kind of like it and I think it's the perfect size. I mean, it's a simple circle and then it's got, I, I love the clock. I'm so glad they went with this. They could have gone with like what, a plain white base. They thought about the show's theme and I, I think this is perfect. Um, and then as you can see, there are metal pegs at the bottom, which is very nice. I do appreciate. Let's put him back on the base. All right, so here he is back on the base. And I think, honestly, okay. Well, first of all, it doesn't say it on the box, 
but I believe in my figure collections website it said uh, it advertised these as a 1 9th scale um, I mean it probably is on the box I probably just can't find it right now but they advertised it as a 1 9th scale and I honestly think I feel like personally I feel like this is almost as tall as a 1 8th I think it's a pretty decent size like this does not seem like a 1 9th to me I don't know why it's actually really good looking I mean it's a simple figure obviously but it's simple but like it's aesthetically pleasing in a way I don't know why maybe it's because of the character design that he has but I think it looks super neat I, I honestly wasn't going into this um I wasn't going into buying this expecting this to be some kind of like intricate figure very detailed or anything i kind of just i was kind of just grateful that we were getting a figure of these guys in general and i think these took like so long to release it, to the point where a lot of people thought they were going to get canceled um so i'm just grateful we have a figure um of these two uh his hair actually even though his hair is supposed to be white it has like a and i don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not but it has almost a very 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 faint pink tint to it don't know why that is probably to differentiate probably to di differentiate um between the white on his shirt and the white in his hair and shoes i i don't know i don't think it should have mattered though i do wish it was a little whiter but that's okay um not a lot of shading you guys like i said very plain very simple uh, he's got some nice folds on his pants and his sh the back of his shirt especially i really love but i really really do love this pose i love that he's like pulling his tie oh my god don't get me started i think he looks so good very cool his hand that's pulling his tie off is a bit awkward but again i i like I said, I wasn't expecting something highly detailed or not, especially because these are like the first link click figures and I don't even recognize this company anyway. Alright, so let's put him to the side and go ahead and open up Chung Xiaoxi, right? Right, Chung Xiaoxi, yes. Okay, or Charles. <laughs> so, this is the back of the box. He looks so good. Oh, stupid glare. Okay, that's the back of the box. I absolutely love my boy he made me cry so many times during the series this is going to be the pose the figure is in for him and um yeah let's get him open oh and i guess i should have mentioned well this is how the box looks for him it's got this um uh, yellow to gray gradient with the clock on there as well and then if you want to compare it with lu guang's his is mainly just looks well it's like a light blue to a dark blue grayish color um they do have different times on there hopefully you can see that and just like lu guang um he is attached to his base and here he is the base is the same um i think it's on the, the base is uh on the same time but it's interesting because lu guang and chung xiao she's boxes have a different time on them so i just assumed that they would have whatever time that's on their boxes on the base but no their bases have the same time on them all right fine i thought eh, yeah okay whatever um <laughs> Uh, I don't really mind anyway again not not much shading I love his ponytail I'm so sorry but I, I love his ponytail so much um, but same thing as Lu Guang's there's not a lot of shading there are some nice folds going on in the clothing again with the hand like on Chung Xiaoxi's neck it looks a little bit awkward I feel like he should be gripping his neck a little bit but it's almost like he's just laying his hand there I don't know it's a little it's a little weird that he's not like fully his hand isn't fully like or his fingers aren't fully closed around his neck and if you notice his eyes are yellow which i think when his eyes are yellow ugh, guys don't like come for me but i think i don't think his eyes are naturally yellow right i think his eyes are only yellow when he's like activating his power it's been a while okay <laughs> again like i said nothing too special but i think that once these are displayed 
uh, next to each other. I think it'll look so much better. I kind of wish that, oh God, and I forgot her name. I wish they had the girl in there as well who also works with them because I absolutely love her. I think her name starts with a Q, um, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I don't know, that doesn't, probably doesn't help, but I'll pull it, put an image of her right here. Um, I really wish they had her in there, but maybe, maybe she'll be available for like future figure releases if they decide to go with future figure releases. But I just, yeah, I just think it would be 10 times cooler to have her in there too, because I absolutely love her so much. Yeah, I don't know. There's not really much to say about these figures because they're just so simple. I'm just happy we have these guys, finally. But yeah, that's all I, I keep staring at his like ponytail too. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about these figures in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.